was not comfortable enough with Buhari's administration to sell arms to Nambu. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The All Progressives Congress APC presidential candidate Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tunambu has said the West refused to sell arms and technological equipment to fight insecurity to Nigeria because they are not comfortable enough with the President Buhari, Muhammad Buhari led administration. Tunambu, however, said he can defend Buhari that insecurity has reduced in the country. It has reduced. I will defend him for that. Then 17 local government and about four states where we had flags of foreign jihadists in Nigeria. That is no more and that is long gone, he said in an, BBC, in an interview on BBC. Tinubu promised to prioritize security, economic development and reduction in inflation when elected, said normalcy is gradually returning to states that were hitherto under the control of the insurgents. He noted that it is usually more difficult to restore normalcy to areas hitherto ravaged by insurgency, saying Buhari has degraded but not completely eliminated ISWAP. Then we talked briefly of lethal weapons, ammunition and technological equipment that could have helped accelerate the cleanup of these people, the jihadists. The West is yet to feel comfortable enough with the Buhari's administration to sell arms and technologies, he added. Asked if the situation would change and that Hintonimbo said it could change and it might not change, but we'll have to look at the alternative, which is the mass recruitment of individuals in the volunteer army to really clean up. On what he would do differently being a member of the same really now progressive congress with President Muhammad Buhari, which has faced increasing criticism over the worsening standards of living and rising inflation, Tribu declared that he is different. He said, I am Bola Metunambu. I have governed Lagos. I have built a modern state that could be a country of its own. I have led an administration that is so prudent for 600 million naira internally generated revenue to 5 billion naira a month. That is a record nobody else can brag about. I have treated and tamed the Atlantic Ocean soldier in Nigeria. Why would, why would, I should have named the Atlantic Stock soldier in Nigeria that would have perished many people in Lagos. The infrastructure we know of Lagos is excellent. Buhari has done his best, but I cannot run away from him being my friend, my leader in the party. I would not. Hmm. Well, uh, this is what I'm saying. So Tinubu is coming out to say that um, the West are not trusting. They don't trust Baba enough to get tell him, okay, receive this um, 50, receive this 100, just like he said. It's like, the, and it's like, um, How do I how do I even put it? That he's they're not comfortable enough to sell to the West. I don't think uh, if you ask me, oh, it's not even supposed to be. Yes, if you ask me. So what exactly are they waiting for? Which sign are they waiting for? Hmm. Okay, um, coming out to say that. Um, First of all, you said you know, so that it is usually more difficult to restore normalcy to areas it has ravaged by insurgents. Now, let me even even say something about that. So, nobody is coming out to say that Buhari has tried. That in states where you know these people are, these people are quiet. And I'm like, really? I'm like, really? Like, I don't understand. So, nobody is coming out to tell me Nigerians that it has reduced insecurity has reduced how. Because everybody's eyes on election, that is where most people's eyes are this period. Ha. And then you are coming out to see that once upon a time they have, yes, truly in Bruno, we say, oh, they have Bruno now. But this one, there's no Bruno. This one, there is no, how do I even put it now? How do I put it? You know? Uh -huh. You cannot compare and say, oh, that's, oh, yes, that that time that, um, what's it called? That time that, um, you know, in Bruno, where you cannot, you cannot, in the local government, you cannot go there. And then what about now? What about now? So them, um, what's it called? A terrible coming out to defend Buhari. Say he would defend him because this one, because that one. To me, I don't, I don't understand at all. 
I don't really, really understand that. So Tenbu coming out to tell us that as I'm talking to you, there are places where for them not to be attacked, they pay. Even after paying for them not to be attacked, if they want to go to the farm, they pay. When they come out, they pay. All right. He noted that it is usually more difficult to restore normalcy to areas hitherto ravaged by insurgency, saying Buhara is degraded but not complete elimination. Now, the thing is, we want what we call elimination. That is just it. So, Tunubu, as I'm talking to you, like I said before, there are places where you go to, you pay them normally so that they don't kidnap you. And after paying them normally for the kidnap, as in, that one is just for kidnap. If you want to go to farm, if you're somebody who farm work is your work, you need to go to farm to, to get things you're going to, you know, now do small farming, get money, sell the one you sell, you will pay them. After bringing the farm produce, you will still give them some. You compensate them. Currently in this administration. So for Tenobu to come out and say, eh, that he tried, I am still asking myself, there was insecurity in one particular state, and this is now all over Nigeria. How is that one trying? How is that one trying? Ha. Tunubu is not, he's not, he's not, I don't know, I don't even know what to say, but he's not being truthful. If you ask me, he's not being truthful. Buhari has done his best. I can't run away from him being my friend, my leader in the party. I would not. I mean, I mean, that one is even one. The second where he said uh, he has built a modern state as a be a country on his own. Uh, he led an administration that is so prudent that all those one. No. Come outside and tell people what you're how you're going to go about it. The West is not comfortable enough to sell arms. And he's saying there's not going to be much difference. So I like the way he even came out and tell people there's not going to be much difference. But we need more. We need more conviction. And I've said it before. It is not about. It's not about you coming out to coming out to tell us. You have to show it to us. APC that wants in power. So coming out to tell us will be what you know they did before. Coming out to show us now will be the game changer. Come out and at least prove to us that really, really this this actually come out and tell us that this particular one this particular issue is going to work. Or this solution will work. Come out and show us because APC, like I said, they have um they have promised us and they failed us, so we need to find out. We need to prove to us beyond talking that, yes, this is the real deal. You are the real deal, and you can make Nigeria a better country. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.